was the one story that was told last night that sort of encapsulated what all of this means? Uh, Reese, that's, that's a tough question. Um, it, it, our belief in, in what we were doing in our team just gradually grew. We knew we had a really good group coming back. Anyone that knew us uh, thought we had a chance to compete for a conference championship. But for something special like this, just the, the amount of work, the amount of sacrifice, um, I, I can't think of one story. There were some pivotal moments this year that we felt like uh, we were ready to turn the corner. But until you do it, you never know. How have you used that uh, perception of disrespect to get your guys locked in? Well, it's been like that all year. Even there were a couple during our, we won 20 games in a row in a very competitive league. If you, if you look at Conference USA this year, it's the best since Derrick Rose was at Memphis and Calipari was at Memphis. It was a historical year in our league. And we were almost apologizing the nights we'd win by three or four points. And there was always something wrong uh, with what we were doing, despite our offensive metrics, defensive metrics, record, schedule, style, all the stuff. It all made sense for a really good story, but it was always like we had to prove ourselves. Like the goalpost was moving all year. And then, you know, I, I thought we were in the, in, I thought we were locked before the conference tournament. And then we, we win all three games and a, and a couple of them by big margins over really good teams. And then we get a nine seed, and I'm thinking, man, maybe I was way too over, overconfident because I was speaking to our guys as if we were already in. We were playing with house money. Now we need to just go out and, and focus on beating this particular team. So, um, you know, I, I don't know why it is. Probably just the, the lack of recognition we get, but we're fine with that. We talk about it. We're not playing for the spotlight. We're not playing for the recognition. We're truly playing for the love of the game and our relationship in that locker room. With what, what everyone has in that locker room is real. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.